Hey, what is up, Culture Drop? Something I feel strongly about is that every single person in a leadership position needs to have conflict and feedback mastery. If you do not have this in place inside your organization, it is a must. Do not put somebody into a leadership or supervisor or management position above other employees or like leading or managing other employees if they do not have skills in navigating and resolving conflict and giving and receiving feedback well and coaching. This is a must. It is a natural occurrence. Human beings working together in workplaces and on teams to have static, to have conflict, to have disagreements, to have personality clashes, like those things are normal. And also to have to like be able to have to give feedback or give coaching to people. If you do not have leaders that are highly skilled in these areas, it is a recipe for creating toxic environments where conflict does not get managed or navigated well, uh, right? Where feedback is not given directly and honestly, um, and like people are coached effectively. It, it literally is a huge mess. And I think every company should adopt the policy that when somebody gets put into a leadership position that they receive training on conflict navigation, on giving and receiving feedback effectively. Like there are so many resources out there. There's tons of books, there's tons of classes, there's tons of courses, there's all kinds of things that you can do to provide these skills and level up your leaders in these areas. It's also an area that's very easy to skill up in. <laughs> like it's not very difficult to gain these skills and gain a lot of tools, uh, but the investment of two or four or six or eight hours in all of your leaders and people in supervisor positions to be good at these things uh, is a thousand percent worth every penny and minute of it to just eliminate unnecessary conflict and have these things go smoother inside the organization. And this is especially, I think, like middle level leaders or management. A lot of people get brought up into leadership positions and then we're like, go. If there's one skill training development that I would say make mandatory for everybody that you put into a position of leadership, it's conflict and feedback a thousand percent across the board. One final note, uh, I've said this before, I'll say it again. Also, if you are a leader or a manager or you're just a human being, these are valuable skills for you to have. Do not wait until somebody else comes to provide this training for you. There are literally a thousand books and resources. There's hours of training and, and content on YouTube that's free. These are areas in your life that you can skill up and get better at doing it, and they will help you in every relationship and interaction that you have to understand how to de-escalate situations, how to effectively communicate uh, and navigate these, these types of things like conflict, etc. So um, that's it, important, do it, or else you're in big trouble. Just kidding, go be awesome. Thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel, or you can sign up for the Culture Drop mailing list and get these emails and videos right into your inbox.